So if you have no idea what is prompt engineering, you are a bit behind. You need to make sure that prompt engineering is part of your skills that you're acquiring in this current year to help you excel and stand out in the field. In this current video, I'm going to be sharing with you a very important lecture from one of our premium courses on prompt engineering, specifically for ChatGPT, that will help you understand how to utilize ChatGPT and apply prompt engineering practices to elevate your AI game. And if you're new to our channel, feel free to destroy the like and the subscribe button to join our global community of professionals who are acquiring latest in-demand skills and expertise to help them stand out educationally and professionally. Now take a look at the video description if you're interested to join our membership program where you get access to a lot of important courses and various uh, skills which are in demand that will surely help you the same way it has helped thousands of professionals globally acquire these skills and level up themselves educationally and professionally in which we have courses on chat gpt on artificial intelligence covering prompt engineering content creation creative writing blogging graphic design interior design project management uh, and the list goes on all of these are ai powered applications and we're going to show you how to use ai in the best way possible to make your life easy all of these are accessible in the membership uh, link provided to you below now without further ado let's dive into the lecture from one of our prompt engineering uh, courses which will help you understand the importance of such a skill welcome back so in this current lecture we're going to learn about the basic prompt structure now we're ready to transition to chat GPT and start to input some prompts and test run how things would go but we need to follow a certain basic structure and we are going to add some layers to this basic structure to get optimal results so the structure of a prompt typically consists of several components first of all we have the introduction which could be something that you pass on to chat gpt in the form of a text an idea or a request or a piece of information or an order or a command like i would like to do so and so or take a look at this current text which i need to do so and so this is the basic introduction then task description what would you like it to do Clearly define the task, use action verbs, design, construct, compare, analyze. We're going to see this with more details, but this is the basic structure for prompting. Instructions and guidelines, what do you need it to do? Provide specific instructions or guidelines to follow, what to avoid, what not to avoid. For language model to follow, then to generate a response. Examples, you can give examples as well. Use the following example to generate a response or use the following example and follow the same tone or create something opposite to this example or paraphrase. And what I mean by example, an actual text that you copy and paste into ChatGPT. Constraints, which are basically optional as well. Create a blog post for a marketing campaign and do not cross 300 words limit. This is a constraint. Or do not approach a certain criteria or make sure that you're generating a list of three different columns for example these are constraints these are limits that you impose in your prompt such that when you're getting an output from chat gpt it does not include those limitations let me give an example let's say you are a youtuber and you're going to be creating the uh, a script for a video as we're going to teach you in this course as well we do have a dedicated lecture how to generate a video script for your youtube video and then you do have a constraint make sure that the video description does not cross the 200 words limit so obviously once you get the output it will not cross that 200 words limit here's an example this is the task that we have we need to write a product review for a new smartphone model so these are the instructions that we need to feed into chat gpt highlight key features of the smartphone such as camera quality battery life and performance include personal experiences and opinions to make the review engaging provide recommendation based on your overall assessments so what do you notice highlight include provide these are action verbs so when you are putting a prompt and you need to get an output, give it a verb for ChatGPT to apply that prompt directly. Highlight, include, separate, list. We do have uh, various guidelines for 
prompt, which I'm going to teach you in this current course, but since it's quite extensive in this current course, like I've mentioned, we do have a blueprint, which is part of the course. Feel free to download it, go through the various prompts, the various implementation for such prompts, which, should, which could be quite very helpful for your own uh, applications, whether for content creation or for any other projects that you're working on. Then we give it an example, the uh, latest XYZ smartphone, a comprehensive review, create a comprehensive review. Uh, using this smartphone as an example for reference, constraints, their view lengths 300 to 400 words, avoid technical specifications, overload, focus on user experience only. No need for techie stuff, user experience only. So these are the general components that I'm going to create a prompt with, which form the structure of my prompt. The instruction, highlight, include, provide, using so and so as an example, making sure that the review length is 300 to 400 words, avoid, this is the constraints, technical specs, overload and focus on user experience. So as you can see, I've managed to combine the elements for a basic prompt structure. So this is a basic bare minimum prompt. When you input in chat GPT and you tell chat GPT, highlight the key features of a smartphone, such as one, two, three, to write a product review for a new smartphone model. Compare it to the latest XYZ smartphone. Make sure the review length is 300, 400 words. Avoid technical specifications, overload, and focus on a user experience. So when I do this and I apply such a prompt to a chat GPT, I'm going to get a comprehensive uh, output which meets my requirements. Now we're going to leave the application part for the later segments of the course. Now we need to understand the uh, concepts of prompt structures. So the basic prompt structure would include the element of an introduction, something that you give to chat GPT in the form of a piece of information, a request, or a theme that you are working on. Then you give it the task, then you give it the instructions for that specific task. Examples, they could be used as reference, a piece of text or a certain reference that you have gotten somewhere. Constraints to keep in mind as the output is being developed. So this is basically the basic prompt structure. In the upcoming lecture, we are going to take a look at the elements which make a, a prompt not just basic, but quite solid. So what do you think? I truly hope that you found the current lecture helpful. Feel free to join our global community by destroying the like and the subscribe button. And like I mentioned, take a look at the video description for these important details where you get access to the courses across AI from various applications, various domains, in addition to other skills across various industries, which are unique and premium. Professionals from over 175 countries have witnessed the educational and professional development excellence that our, our programs are providing and have been providing over the years. And I look forward to welcoming you and our membership program. And like I mentioned, feel free to destroy the like and the subscribe button to stay up to date with our latest releases and updates. And I'll see you in the next video.